Good morning everyone! It is 11.30 a.m. and I got to the spot where I am about to set foot for scouting a couple new locations that I think exist via Google Satellites map. So I have my coordinates identified, I have them saved within my phone and my notes app, so I'm really excited. This is my first solo trek in a moment, so uh, I miss this stuff. I can't wait to get in there, get in that woods or swamp. The terrain is looking kind of thick, so instead of wearing sandals, I'm going to put on some Tims. The backpack is on, I got the Tims, and I'm in front of where I'm going to make a straight shot into the swamp. It's looking so thick, I'm beginning to reconsider, but I figure I should just go with it because it'll be a lot of fun and I got some gloves. I forgot to get like actual work gloves so I'm wearing Sofo spearfishing gloves. Multi-purpose to help protect my hands because I know I'm gonna get scratched up in there. I'm all covered up and ready to go. It is 11.36. I don't have any footage of me making it through this beginning part of the trek because I needed both of my hands to get through this mess. I'm walking, there's like this kind of open area above me. I am walking, this is more of like a swamp region I would say. I'm hanging on to a tree over here. Um, but this beautiful, look at that. It's a flower. This is me right now. I lost my sunglasses. I dropped them. Oopsies. I hope whoever finds them likes them. Except it will probably be me who finds them because like, let's face it, who is coming back here? Who? My socks are still dry. Miracles, they, they happen. I haven't been caring where I'm walking. I've just been like, going through. This is actually really nice because all I gotta do is step up and step down. Whereas before, I had to like, navigate through some thorns. It was, it was a little bit rough. Swamp. Swamp time. Questions. The socks are officially absolutely soaked, but I don't care. <sighs> I feel like I might be halfway there or even a little bit closer than halfway. I am so excited um, <laughs> when this isn't even the coordinate that you had. I can see a couple feet down. Score. The body of water I just found over here turns out it's connected to big pond puddle over here which is probably only a few feet deep at the most this is my first sign of civilization a bucket amazing more civilization these tubes i wonder what they were used for i wonder Really cleared up around here. I'm so freaking close. I'm trying to keep going, but more this way, and I feel like I'm seeing the trees clear up. Oh goodness. Okay, maybe I'm however many feet away this to that is, but there's this crazy stuff in my way and I'm dying. I'm so hot. Okay. 
Guys, I don't know if this was worth it. <laughs> but I'm here. I'm really here. Oh my goodness. It smells like disgusting. I, I really don't know if this is worth it. Oh my god, okay. Well, made it! I'm in a bit of a situation. I got my my leg stuck. So I have to put my phone to the side. I really have to work to get myself out. Literally. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of risk assessing. My first thing that I'm considering is alligators. I haven't seen any on my way in. I never have seen any alligators like out in the swamp area, but they might be in the water. Um, I'm not sure if this spring is tidally influenced. Okay, climbed a tree a little bit to get a better vantage point, and I'm feeling good because I saw a big bass. officially almost set up to get in the water. I have my clothes hanging on the side as well as this pink towel over there. I have some short fins. So I have some short fins, a GoPro, and a mask. I have a weight and fishing line and also a rope. So I was thinking that I might go in there and even maybe drop my GoPro with the fishing line or with the rope. I really want to do some kind of data collection so I think I will go in at least with a rope so that I can tie my GoPro in and then put it down but if I get lucky I'll be able to see have like great visibility I have no clue how deep it is so wish me luck everyone I'm scared okay I'm really scared and I'm alone like this is psycho <laughs> okay I'll see you in the water I feel like the visibility wasn't that bad until I silted it up. It's not like the clarity that I've seen in other springs, but the downside of not having a dock is having to step in the water. And I was so slow and had my fins on and so nervous that I really messed up. But I'm getting in anyways. I am so nervous. I'm literally hunched over. <laughs> pretty shallow over here. You can see the ground and this tree. I would say maybe it's about seven feet deep or so. These fish were so curious, I don't think they know what a human is. <laughs>
unfortunately, this is me abandoning my plan. I'm kind of sad about it, but here's the deal. I got in the water. It was looking clear. It's like, it was looking like I could get some clarity when I was in the tree. Then I started stepping in. I silted it up a lot, like unintentionally, but the flow here, I guess, isn't isn't that great. If I had a second person in the water, it's just a million times safer because you have a second set of eyes on you. I probably should have asked someone to come with me. Oops. Well, I'm putting it out there. If this is your kind of stuff, let me know. Hit me up. Dry socks, wet shoes, unbeatable combo. Unbeatable. I'm all clothed up. <laughs> I'm all clothed up. I'm saying bye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that this inspires you to go out and have your own crazy little solo adventure.